Kansas City and welcome to another episode of Speak Up. Welcome to Televita, where I get a chance to speak up every week and I can talk about things in the black community and our ecosystem. Today I have the pleasure of bringing on someone very special. I, he really doesn't need an introduction. Everybody knows him, but we're going to get to know him, him. So without further ado, I want to thank you, Quez, for taking the time to come out and stepping up because it was almost the last minute uh, on the spot. Hey, I need somebody. It was. And you were like, yeah, but it was like, it was almost like divine intervention right, right. Uh, because it happened and I told my other guest that had to step out, she had no choice, uh, don't worry, it's gonna be all right, I'll have somebody. And right. then here you step through the door and I was like, hey. <laughs> Our so, steps are ordered. Though. Are ordered, are ordered. <laughs> I know Kansas City knows Quez well. I had to go on the website <laughs> so uh, because I, I had, you and I have had a, I don't know, almost an intimate relationship without really knowing yes, each other. That's uh, true. That's you true. always hug me. You always make me feel good. Yes. Uh, and but I know that you are that person in the community that recognizes people and you give people their roses and their flowers and uh, you do a lot. So today, though, because I said I told you, who <laughs> is Quez? I mean, it's almost like a mystery man. <laughs> Tell me about Quez. Who is Quez? Quez does it all. Somebody I look up to is Quincy Jones because I see myself in Quincy Jones mm. so much. Uh, he does it all. So uh, Quez is this guy who just loves and believes that anything is possible. That's number one. Uh, number two, Quez is a musician first. Uh, Quez is, uh, he, I, have, I have just so many businesses. I don't know where to start. Uh, I started off in music okay. and then uh, I went into retail. And so retail, I was just like, you know what? I got tired of working for somebody else. So many times we mm -hmm. make somebody else so much money that we don't want to do it for ourselves. Correct. So I said, you know what? I want to start my own business. And so that's how Quest Presents came into fruition. I manifested it, number one. Right. And I said, you know what? I, uh, I just want my own business, Quest Presents. And that's why we named it Quest Presents because we can present anybody, anything. anything. Yeah. So we did fashion shows, hair shows. I have a talk show now. Uh, I did every type of show, yeah. and that's the cool thing about my brand. Not only that, I'm at the American Jazz Museum. So, so that's cool. We're going to get back to the American <laughs> Jazz Museum. Because the first time I saw you, uh, I was invited to a Saturday brunch. You mm -hmm. do every second and fourth? Every first Saturday. Every first month. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Every first Saturday the other month, you have uh, Quest Presents, yes. and it's a brunch. Mm -hmm. And usually you have guests on, you talk to guests, yes. you have music, yes. and yes, you can sing, and we'll get to that too. <laughs> but um, it's always a blast. Yes. I mean, it's like a first Saturday, you know, uh, continuation of first friday yes. it's let's, a vibe it's yeah a vibe. let's keep it let's keep the vibe going so what uh inspired you to start this and, and i'm gonna throw a shameless plug in for soiree which yes. is the spot shout is out it, to anita shout out to anita. I, I, absolutely a shout out yes. to anita moore who yes. is definitely doing the darn thing down there on yes. 18th but um i want to say that you know what inspired you to just come up with that idea like what inspired me? Well, I always wanted to be on TV. I know I'm going to be on TV. Uh, and I always wanted to have my own talk show. And I looked up to Arsenio Hall. I looked up to Oprah. I looked up, I love me some Wendy Williams. And I'm like, all these three people, all in one. <laughs> all in one. <laughs> How you do? Like, What's you up, get, y'all? Yes, yes, you get all of that. And you and, get it. And you get it. Like, we do so much for the community. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to go outside the box and not only wait for, like, a TV station to pick me up, right. a radio station when I can do it myself. Yeah. So we started off in a small studio and then COVID hit. And co after COVID hit, we still did it. Everybody was on a, sending me videos from their house so we can make a show. Right. That was so fun. So to see the growth we have now, and it's a place to be sold out shows every yes. Saturday. Yes. Uh, so I, I look up, these ones the people influenced me to do my own show. And so the show, we talk about community. We talk about issues that's going on in our world yes. and every everything. Um, we have live music. Yes. We play games. We give scholarships away. We give money away to people. So it's a whole entire vibe of just black people. 
It is. You know, and so that's what that's what the show is about. So, you know, it's really interesting, too, because what I love about um, who we are Mm -hmm. uh, and what you do, what you do has been um, almost bringing the village back. Mm Uh, you have followers of every sort. Um, you know, uh, people get caught up in stereotypes mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, the LBGTQ mm-hmm. community, mm-hmm. the straight community, mm-hmm. the white community, mm-hmm. the black community, yeah. the males, the females. Yeah. And if you walk <laughs> in Soiree on a Saturday, it is a community. It is. There is no uh, label on yes. who is who That's and true. why they're there. It's not, you don't have just a, um, I would say, just a, a singular uh, following. You yeah. are an influencer. It's, it's so cool to see that. Because um, we have, like, I've seen this lady who came to our show. She was, like, in her 70s. And the fact that she was there having a good time from 70s, then people bring their kids. Yes. Uh, so there's no, there's white, black, uh, there's the LGBT community. I'm LGBT community and I love my people. Yeah. But I, I, ne- I never want to just be one community based person because yeah. that's not how you touch the world. That's right. You got to touch everybody. So when you come to my shows, I get to touch everybody and make everybody feel welcome and that's the and one included thing. yes and everybody included. just yes. want to be included and yeah. so that's what you get when yeah. you come that's what you get with quest yeah. period you yeah. know it, i love it does. people it, it is it mm-hmm. is uh from the moment i met you and it's just been <laughs> non-stop and the good you know the really good thing the cool thing i'll put it like this is that you meet a person one time mm-hmm. and you remember them. i do i'm bad at names I remember people's faces and I give people hugs. There's yes, something about yes. just give no I'm like, no, 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 yeah. no. Give me a hug. Yeah. Because you never know what a person going through. And when they need it. Yes. And when they need it. <laughs> so, you know, there is so many things that I want to talk to you about because I'm just like <laughs> all in my head. I'm like, this is like amazing. So um you talked about being uh a part of the jazz museum. Mm-hmm. And one of the things, so I, I do have that serious side, the mm-hmm. things that I think that um we should talk more about in our community. Mm -hmm. And so we look at 18th and Vine and the the development or redevelopment of 18th and Vine and the opportunities that um, exist right there. And so one of the things that uh, we talk about is the Jazz Museum and the gym. What all does that encompass? Mm -hmm. You know, what, you know, if you were a person on the outside and wanted to know what if I call the Jazz Museum, what all what all can I touch on 18th Street? 18th Street, what all is so that's the history. That is like I think one of the biggest gold mines of black culture in Kansas City. Um, because we have so many of our ancestors that fought so hard to build that community. So when you come to the Jazz Museum, when you come to 18th and Vine. Uh, it's a place of history. You see not only jazz music, R&B, rap is becoming a big thing. And I always tell the older generation, I'm like, the message won't change. We get it. But we have to change the method of doing things. Okay. And that's where you send all these new developers come in. But we are the next generation to say, okay, uh-uh. Our generation before us, they work so hard. But we won't lose it. But it's so much happening. Yeah. So when you come down there, you see all the construction happening. Yeah. And it's a lot of good and it's a lot of bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I can't, yeah. I won't be quest yeah. and not be, keep it real. I'm right. 100%. Yeah. Uh, it's some things that need to change down there. Yeah. And it's some things that I look forward to happening on 18th and yeah. Vine. So, you know, so I'm going to stay in, in that little space for a minute. Because, yes, um, the history has to be preserved. Yes. But the aesthetics do not. Mm-hmm. And I think that we have, uh, we have been uh, such a visual people mm-hmm. that we feel like if we change the aesthetics, mm-hmm. if we change it where it looks different, mm-hmm. uh, we lose our history. But the history, number one, it's kind of like um, um, Christians or people of faith say it's in your heart. Mm-hmm. The Bible is in your heart. The Quran is in your heart. The Torah mm-hmm. is in your mm-hmm. heart. Uh, you carry, we carry the history. Right, right. So w- how we preserve the history 
is to bring it back to the vibrant state. Yes. So there yes. was a time that 18th and Vine, um, and just the Vine area, that district, we were so popular, mm -hmm. there's a song about us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was vibrant and yes. it was, you know, it was completely, constantly a lot going on mm -hmm. um, and always something happening. And they were, these buildings, uh, although I don't have all the history of when they were built, mm -hmm. but I can tell you there was transitioning yes. going on and there had to be change. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm like you, I, there's things about the district that um, I look forward to, right. mm -hmm. uh, but there's also, I'm a businesswoman, mm -hmm. and I say this all the time, mm -hmm. I'm a capitalist. Mm -hmm. I understand the, the system in which I am growing in or I right. grow in, right. uh, whether I like it or not. Right. It, we are in this system, so um, I have to know this and know how to work in it. Mm -hmm. um, we have to progress. Right. Uh, I can say that I know this the, the neighborhood. I go to church mm -hmm. at 18th and Woodland. Wow. And uh, right 19, 19, on the corner of 19, wow. 1834, Centen the historic wow. Centennial United Methodist Church, yep. where we have an organ that can never be moved wow. because the old jazz musicians, and I always say it wrong, I think it was Count Basie mm -hmm. that uh, used to come in on Sundays and play the organ wow. uh, after they played at the the conservatory is right behind our church, mm -hmm. so they walk across right. the parking lot. And the likes of everything from every one of the most famous jazz musicians wow. had been in Centennial. So when you think about um, all that history, mm -hmm. that's the history that needs to be preserved. Yes. Yes. But the change is, you're a young man. Yes. You're a next generation. Mm -hmm. You all have to have your stamp. Yes. Your history has yes. to be ingrained in that. Mm -hmm. So I see you doing this, but what do you see yourself doing to continue that, that legacy? That's, that's good. I remember I was a uh, legacy. Uh, Oprah said something I will always remember. She said something about legacy. She was like, people, everybody want to be rich and famous. Nobody wants to leave a legacy. Yeah. It's the legacy that you live that's going to make you to get bring the money and the famous. Right. But what you do now, is what if people going to talk about what Quez did four years now, or all about the money he made. And so now my legacy is to always remember and never forget what the people did for us for me to get here. Right. That's why I always keep in mind on 18 Divine. And then I have to realize that God has blessed me with a platform that people look at me. Yes. I have kids, I have adults older than me, younger than me, looking at Quest. Yeah. And so I have to make sure that I am that right example. I'm far from perfect. Oh, aren't we all? <laughs> but here's the thing, I know that God has blessed me with this mouth <laughs> and I refuse to um, not stand on things that I know I can have my, my voice be heard about. Yeah. So that's what is legacy to me. Legacy is helping my community yeah. that, that I can touch people. I can get people with money that the normal people might not, might not can get. Right. So I take these open doors and give back to my community. That's what legacy is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what the legacy I'm trying to give now that I want to be the next Tyler Perry of Kansas City. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. that's legacy. Uh, can I be on one of your uh, That's what, Look, listen. I'll, I'll be somebody's <laughs> mom on one of them. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes. <laughs> And so that's what I want to to be able to get more jobs to people. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I want to have a big job fair. Uh, yeah. There's so much I want to do for the community, and that's what that's what my dream is. Yeah. And I I tell anybody if I can dream, you can too. So l let me talk about this uh, because one of the things that we lack in Kansas City, and you know me now, or you're getting to know me. I am. I'm gonna speak what I can. What I, I have to speak. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry if you if I, if you disagree. You have that right. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, but I've been waiting to get my age so I can say what I want to <laughs> and not care whether you like it or not. No. Honestly, um, collaboration. We mm -hmm. lack collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, in my humble opinion, and it, again, this is my humble opinion. Um, we are our own worst enemy. Yes, we are. So here you are, a young man on 18th Street, and you are our next generation. There's a generation behind you. Yes, it is. That if we don't 
start building <laughs> more legacies. Because mm -hmm. we're looking at legacies mm -hmm. that are four and five generations yes. past my legacy. Mm -hmm. So if we're not building legacies for them to go down the path, mm -hmm. we have this big gap. Right, and agree. so what are we, how do we collaborate to make sure that your legacy along with others are stamped mm -hmm. in that district? Ego. Ooh, we we. Must kill our egos. Yes, yes. Um, back in the day, they work with each other. It was no Absolutely. big eyes and little U's. Yes. It's all everybody coming to work together, together for one purpose. Yes. And if we, that's that's how I answer that question. If we took our egos out the way, and we literally, be, how, how can I help you? You got this business, I got, you might be a construction company, all right? And then I might have my own plumbing and utility company. Why should, why are we not working together? together. That's right. Why, it's, and it's so, if we did that, yes. that's when we build our yes. legacies. That's yes. when the people under us who's coming, to, the next generation can, can see. Yeah. People only do stuff because they see somebody else do it. Yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> you have a point, you have a point. You know, uh, uh, you and I have the, the one thing in common is we both love our people. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you notice, but there's sometimes I'll come down and I will just look around and we are so diverse within our own culture. Yes. When I say diverse, and so we understand diversity probably better than anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, we have every shape, every form, yes. every attitude, yes. every class, every status, yes. every education level. Right. We have everything that will come in the same room mm -hmm. and actually have a good time. Yes. But our big problem is we separate, we and, go separate. Our, and go our separate ways mm. uh, without touching each other and saying, hey, and not even just to say, hey, how's your day? Mm -hmm. And then really be concerned about mm -hmm. how my day is or how your day is. And I make it a point to talk to people. You do. I never want to be that person who was high in my... You remember how you meet people when I was younger and you'd be like, oh, I, I wonder if I could talk to that person. Yeah. Or I may, they might be mean or like, I want, I don't want nobody to ever say that about Quest. Yes. yes. Like there's no gray area with Quest, yeah. but I want to always be nice to people yeah. and talk to people. Yeah. Cause I never know. You might got something I need, and God was going to hook us together to get that money we need. You right, know, right, so it's just right. yeah. I, you know, I agree with you also because um, when we stop being there for one another, being there for the little people, mm -hmm. you know, yes. the least of us. The, the Bible said, us. "The least of yes. us." Yes, yes. It's, it's those are the ones that you know we need to be mm -hmm. available for. Um, and I'm like you, I don't ever want to be that person that someone comes to me and um, their out of outward appearance doesn't right. Right. suit my right. eyes right. or, you know, or my circle of people. Yes. And then I have this um, attitude of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you always want to be, I want somebody to see themselves in me, you yeah. know, yeah. and I want them to see God first. Yes. And if you can see God in me, then it's going to be okay because God loves everybody. Everyone. That's everyone. It. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my. So tell me what's up. What's going on? What's, what's in, the, in the... What's next? I, yeah, I need the... Um, well, believe it or not, school. I have a party bus that's going to be coming I out. I saw that I on your website. I we'll have it up and, up, and, up and running by September. Uh, of course, we have concerts. I'm doing tribute concerts. We're celebrating 25 years at the Jazz Museum. Okay. Uh, I have my talk show, which is doing really good right now. I'm at in Westport. I'm doing uh, two shows on Sunday, every Sunday. So I'm like really, really busy right, right. now. Right. But I'm doing what I love. So my birthday's in September. Although, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I got a lot going on in September. I'll be in D.C., <laughs> then I'll have a wedding, then I go to Detroit. <laughs> but I would love to get the party bus. Listen. For my birthday, <laughs> let's talk fun. about okay, this. Okay. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about the party bus for my birthday. Uh, you know, it just just knowing that you've got a lot going on and you got a lot coming up. Um, tell me how I can get involved with you as a chamber. How can the chamber and uh, and Quest presents, uh, you know, collaborate? 
I would love to collaborate with you. I think we should collaborate on a job fair. I really want to push this job fair and I'll talk to you more off the yes, screen. Because yeah. I want people not to have an excuse that companies are not hiring. Absolutely. If companies are not hiring them because of their skin color, their sexual preference, then we need to be saying something. Yes, so that's my, absolutely. That's my next yeah. big push. Uh, I hate politics, but I want to see what these politics are up to. So I'm going to do one-on-ones with all these politicians. Uh, that's what I've been working on, too. Yes. So yes. 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 And I think that we, we they always say we are my generation don't yeah. vote. Yeah. <laughs> I think your, your generation probably votes more than my generation. Mm -hmm. It's the older generation, then there's a gap, mm -hmm. and then it's your generation mm -hmm. that I see now more even interested in mm -hmm. the political uh, side yes. of things. Um, and I'm glad that you said that because... Um, being a metropolitan city, mm -hmm. um, and I'm, you know, on both sides, so mm -hmm. I would even like to see our collaboration move quest even across the river yes. uh, because yes. that's where we need to bridge our gaps yes. as well. Yes. Uh, we have communities that we are living the same disparities and not coming together mm -hmm. to battle the disparities that yes. We're living. And it has so much history in Kansas. Oh, it does. Kansas, I did a piece on the parallel. Um, Bruins. Yes. yes. I did a whole with Miss yes. Dixon. I had to, I walked it. I did a whole, and I didn't know all the history. Has. Yes. So I think Kansas City is one of the best tre treasures we have that people, still, I'm 36 years old. I'm still finding out history. History. You know, yeah. so I think yeah. that's, it's a treasure here in Kansas City. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to more collaborations. Yes, I'm looking yes. forward to uh, definitely doing more with you. Yes, me too. Uh, them seeing uh, something mm -hmm. that has Quest Presents and the Heartland Black Chamber on it. I think we uh, should do that. Yes. <laughs> and then, and, and um, actually, uh, small business and a workforce development fair. And yes. what small business and workforce development is mm -hmm. uh, just a part of what I do anyway. Mm -hmm. But um, putting together a program that we can actually start working with our people. Yes. Um, my focus mm -hmm. at the Black Chamber mm -hmm. is on black people. Well, I work with everyone. Yes. But um, we have to really focus on our issues in mm -hmm. order for us to uh, become a part mm -hmm. of the inclusion. Yes. Uh, I think I told you earlier that I, I'm trying to get uh, American black people mm -hmm. to remember that you are an American yes. who is unapologetically black. I love that. Because when, we, when they call us anything, when they put the American second, they make us feel like we're like second. Like we're less than something. Or, and that, that mm -hmm. we're second. That mm -hmm. our Americanism is a, is a secondary part of who we are. We're equal to everybody we else. We are equal to everyone else. And mm -hmm. uh, I love, love, love. I am so excited. I'm just happy <laughs> that you said yes and that we have this opportunity to really have this conversation. I appreciate you inviting me to come on. Well, you, this will not be the last time. <laughs> I'll be here anytime it, you need me. Uh, oh, did y'all hear that? <laughs> did y'all hear that? It's my schedule allows. <laughs> did did, did y'all hear that? Because y'all be like, well, when did Quez become the co-host of uh, Speak Up? Because we want to, I'm, I'm trying to find a way to make sure that we're getting the message out. Yes. You know, and I really want you to um, utilize your platform also mm -hmm. to, you know, to grow this. Yes, um, when we grow one another, I'm definitely, yes. definitely want your talk show yes. to be featured. Yes. Um, we can put it on our, our website at, mm -hmm. at the chamber. Yes. Uh, I definitely want to make sure that we add you as a resource because yes. truly you're a resource. Yes. So I'm gonna ask you one more question before we close out for today. Um, one, the gym theater. Mm -hmm. The gym theater is to me a treasure that is underutilized. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much that we could yes. be doing at the gym. And I know right now uh, we have uh, city City of Truth, I think it is. Yes, City of that, Truth on Sunday. Uh, yeah, uh, 83. Yes. That comes 83. down there, uh, which is great. Uh, but what about Saturday matinees uh, where we're showing some mm -hmm. black films? Yeah. Have, 
Well, you know what? It's actually, if you go on American Jazz Museum events, we have a lot of programming happening. Okay. Ever since I got there, I've seen that place as a big warehouse to me. Yeah. A warehouse meaning that it's so big, it's so much stuff you can do inside it. Yeah. So ever since I've been there, uh, we've been doing more stuff there. We have a church there every Sunday yes. now. Um, we we did do Black Film Series. So if you look on our website, you can mm -hmm. see uh, a lot of stuff we do got going on. Uh, we celebrate 25 years right now, so go American Jazz Museum. Yeah. So so much more stuff happening. Yeah. So we want to catch up with events. Just go to AmericanJazzMuseum.org events. Okay. And I'm Quez, so they okay. need me. Just ask for Quez. Everybody know me, and I'll be. I'm do all. I handle all the rentals. Yeah. So I'll make sure I'm there. Yeah. So I want you to look into that camera over there because that's going to be you. <laughs> yeah, that's all you. That's all you. <laughs> and I want you to talk to the people out there. Tell them what you want people to know and then tell them how they can reach you okay. and what's, you know, what. I always say this. Anybody who follows me on Facebook, live your dreams. Live your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you how to live your own life. Uh, you have the power to manifest anything you want in your life. Uh, I don't take no for answer and neither should you. And that's why I am to where I am right now. And I only thank the guy, the man upstairs, honestly. But if you can follow me on Quest Presents on all social media platforms, Facebook, IG, all of them. And I'll follow back. And I like to talk to people, too. But uh, just keep up with me on there. And our, my website is QuestPresents.com. Every first Saturday, you can get tickets also on our website. So, and it's sold out every show. It's so. sold out every show. Yeah. Quickly, quickly too, uh, with those tickets, what do they get? Oh, you get brunch, okay? You get a buffet, so we do buffet, and now we do unlimited mimosas for $20. So the buffet is $30, unlimited mimosas for tw is $20, and you get a whole show with Quest. And you get a whole show. Yes. So. <laughs> Did you hear that? $30, and I know because I'm there. $30 for a full buffet, and I'm going to tell you, the food is fabulous. <laughs> I mean, and I mean, totally fabulous. Uh, and endless mimosas until 2 o'clock yes, yes. for 20 bucks. You can't beat it. <laughs> and then you get quiz. Yes, and, and all quiz and a bunch of my friends. So I have a lot of friends, a co-host that's doing stuff in Kansas City. So yes. you get to meet all of them, too. Yep. So, again, I want to thank you all for coming today. I know you're going to be excited to see this episode of Speak Up. Yes. And trust me, now that me and Quez are friends, you're going to look up and see me and Quez everywhere. <laughs> I, I'm going to hang around, yeah. I, I'm not normally a groupie, but in this case, I I, love her look, now. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, thank you, Televita, for giving me this platform, for giving me the opportunity to speak up every week and to be able to say exactly what I want to say. Let me use this platform to help my people help themselves. Again, I would look forward to seeing you next week. Don't miss this episode. It will be out next Monday. Have a great day. Bye.